Hey guys, Damon here. So I'm going to show you how to make a concrete curb for your little walkway or your um, flower garden or whatever you've got going on in your front yard. So first things first is get yourself a little trowel. And I made this one. Um, it's four inches in the back, three inches in the front, and then six inches wide. I found one on eBay for about 150 bucks. That was more than what I wanted to spend. And I think theirs was four inches and two inches. So I did went four and three. But um, so this is what we've got going on so far. So as you can see, I've already started. So it comes around, it's gonna loop around. And I dug about three inches deep. So it's gonna show up about an inch because you've got a little bit of concrete underneath. Then you just take your rebar, bend it. It's three inch rebar, so you can just bend it over your knee. And I take a little bit of concrete and lift up the rebar just so you don't have to mess with it just keep going so I got the uh, pro finish 5000 it's got a little bit more tensile strength to it um, some people say to do the sand mix or the sand topper but I wanted the rock in there for a little bit of strength so here we go I'm gonna show you how to mix it so take your little sponge Put about five sponge pools of water in the bottom. I'm going to start with four. Five is just a little too much. Grab your hoe. So it's best to have a truck. You got to pick this shit up all day. in first it's a little bit easier to mix it so oh I forgot the redneck mask I'm supposed to put the red mask on so you don't breathe stuff and then just push it away from you and towards you away from you and towards you so this is about four sponge fulls of water so I tried to mix two bags at a time and it's just a lot of work Plus, I kind of like the break between growling and the mixing because you can kind of stand up, get a drink of water, whatever you need to do. So just pull, push it away from you, pull it away from you, back and forth. Now, if you're going to rent a curb machine and a concrete mixer, the show's not for you. I've got about, I think it was $136 for uh, 15 bags and 5 3 8 by 10 foot rebar. So I'm doing the whole thing of what the cost of the trowel was just because I made the trowel. But you guys can buy a trowel. We've got a plastic one on eBay and Amazon for I think 20 bucks. So mix it up so you want it dry so that's the number one mistake everybody's concrete is they try to mix it too wet and it just kind of flows and I, I made it too wet about halfway through I just added a little bit of water to it and I messed up and I'll show you what it does professional so I don't know how thick to make it without testing it but all you do all you do is grab your trowel make you a pile and 
That's it. Because you want it to sit up just like this. See how the edges are? But I want it just a little bit more damp. Or ring out. There we go. Get to stirring. see the state's formed but you see there's a little bit of water on the top of that and that's exactly what you want so All right, so you get your trowel down. I'm gonna put this right about there. Concrete. Put the shovel and just pile it down in piles. got a little area here and as you can see it's not perfect which we don't want it perfect yet so now you're going to take your handy little trowel take your bucket of water that's up a little high so as you can see it's up a little high so I'm going to bring it back down a little bit I'm gonna pack it in and then what I'll do I'm just gonna show you but you can just keep going tap it and then keep packing but you guys don't want to watch all that so now you've got these little places in here and somebody told me they're called cat faces or cat eyes or something and they're just little deformations in the concrete so just take your trowel, get it wet. And flatten it out. So 
I'm putting pressure only on the front. Okay, so just like that. And I pull up, and you can see only this area right here has got pressure on it. Just like that. Okay. And if you've got a little spot that you know needs filled up, take your small trowel. Here, take some water. Back it in. Just like frosting a cake. You got a little rock. Pound it in. Go right over the top. Okay. Now I'm no professional. But if you're watching the show, you're probably not a professional either. Because you wouldn't need to know how to do all this stuff. But there's some good ideas in here. So. There you go. And as you can see, it's not too much. It's a little low right there. So all you do is just take a little mud. Go on top. Pack it down. Take your long one. Now you won't get it perfect, but what you do is just let this go off a little bit because as you can see I keep moving this stuff and it just kind of falls down and that's okay because over here that's cured for a little bit right here. So you see that area right there? That's cured a little bit. You just take your trowel and you work on this. A minute ago I couldn't do this because it was too wet. So you just kind of form it up. Right here's a little spot. It doesn't look very good. Just kind of form it up. Flatten it out. There you go. Keep going. Now I've done this little run in about two hours. So I've got probably another four or five hours left. So I'm just taking my time, making it look good. The longer you do it, the better it's going to be. So I'll show you the the end process. So and if there's any little spots that you don't like, all you have to do is make a slurry, and I can show you how to do that. But I'll also show you how to do your driveway. So I did this driveway about uh, it's been about three years now, and there was a ton of oil spots. And you can still kind of see them right here because I messed up this little square here. As you can see, this little square is rubbed off, but the rest of this just made with a slurry. So I'll show you how to do that on the next video. So if you haven't yet, hit subscribe and like. And until next time, have a good day.